Well, good morning, all you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? Yeah, it's another early morning vlog video. It's about 0601 on October 15th, 2020. And yeah, just for a good friend of mine, that's right, it's a squirrel thing. You wouldn't understand. But today's video, as you see by that title, I think I'm going to call it, I made it to the big time. This is the only way I can put it, all right? I'm going to speak to one individual in this video. And the funny part is, I don't know who you are. I just don't. But I feel like I've made it to the big time. I seriously feel like, you know, the one million subscribers on YouTube, the fact that you're dating the porn star, the stripper, the model, the whatever of your dreams, you're driving around the fancy car, you've got the billion dollar house, you know, you've got more money than Dan Blazarian, allegedly. <laughs> I was informed yesterday that an anonymous complaint has been filed at Child Protective Services over my YouTube channel. Process that for a second. All right, let's see if that's a little bit better. Sorry, I'm trying to get the little camera thing down this morning. Seriously, over my Step Parent series, somebody called Child Protective Services, filed a complaint anonymously because they have fear of retribution, that I'm degrading my children, I'm dehumanizing my children, I'm abusing my children, and I'm a danger to my children. And all the proof is in the Step Parent series. Can't make it up. Now at first, when I heard about it, I was a little irate. Little meaning, you know, like Hulk smash and Hulk destroy and Hulk do this. So... Thanks to the bearded practitioner and me working with him and trying to process things a little differently, I took a different approach. Instead of initially reacting to it, and yes, I, I, I called a couple of people and I vented. I took it, I took the night and I slept on it. And I got up this morning and went, yeah, I need to make this video. I don't know who you are. I don't want to know who you are. I don't know why you would do something like that. And yes, I don't know of one parent alive who hasn't vocalized at some point or other. Bless you, baby. Bless you. And yes, I'm filming this in front of two of my kids right now. I've, t I've talked to them about everything. We had a long, lengthy talk the other night about things. I don't know why you would file that complaint. Because if you watch the videos, yeah, I say things like, oh my God, sure, there's been times I just want to push them down the stairs. But I don't know any parent who hasn't thought in the back of their head, well, you know, one little shove and <laughs> I'm a free man. I make jokes with my kids all the time. And I'm like, yeah, I can't kill you because I'd miss you. I talked to the kids yesterday about things that were brought up to me. I don't think I've ever once said in a step-parent video, and I've gone over every single one I've filmed twice within the last 48 hours. I don't think I've ever once said, yeah, I'm going to chop up the brat into little pieces because I'm tired of her. I've never once said that. So if me talking about being a step-parent and the frustrations that a step-parent feels, because let's get honest, you're not the donor. You didn't create them. Well, excuse me, you didn't make them. You didn't have those 30 seconds of wife cardio and then go, oh, crap, I forgot to use a condom. Well, uh, let's just hope that didn't take. And then a couple months later going, shit. All right. And yeah, I'm overly generalizing that whole process. All right. You weren't there for that. I chose to be a parent to two of them. I chose to be the dad they never had. I chose to be the father they never had. I chose to be that person who stepped into the gap and helped my better half. I chose that. It wasn't, I need to do this because I created this life. I chose to do it. Step parents are looked at as a second choice. They're inconsequential. Um, I've been brutally honest in my step-parent series where biological donors are like, you have no say in their life. You shouldn't even be talking to these kids. You shouldn't be doing that. I'm like, yeah, no. Well, if you were doing your job, I wouldn't have to do mine. But because you can't do your job, I'm doing mine. 
I'll be honest, my first thought was it was one of the donors who stumbled across my channel and went, huh, yeah, now I have to screw up their lives. I thought it's a family member who went, and you know, I've been brutally honest about what happened a while ago with my niece. And that family member going, well, you know, you didn't support me, and you weren't there, and you caused me problems, and I'm going to cause you problems. But after sleeping on it, I don't care who you are. I think you need a reality check. I think you need to get a grip on things. And I think you need to get a little understanding of what's going on within my house. Because, you know, we don't do everything perfect, but we do things together as a family. We don't hit home runs every single at bat, but at least we're trying and at least we're in the fight every single day in making this family move forward. Oh, and for the record, I was informed yesterday by Child Protective Services they're closing the case. It's unfounded. They're typing up the paperwork and I should have everything I need in about two weeks in my hand saying, you're done, you're clear, you're gone. They said point blank. They didn't look at any of my videos. They think the complaint is totally unwarranted. Because as they put it, ever since COVID, they've been getting buried in complaints like, well, kids are playing outside. Kids are getting together in groups. Parents aren't socially distancing. And I'm like, well, if you live in Washington State, I can get why you're getting that complaint. Because Jay Inslee is basically making you out to be a mass murderer if you don't wear a mask. If you don't socially distance and if you don't do that. And that's about as much political as I want to get in this right now. But yeah, so I, I, I've hit it big time by actually sitting and talking behind this camera about my frustrations as a step-parent, my successes as a step-parent, and having good, honor, honest conversation with you guys. I'm now supposedly degrading, dehumanizing, abusing my children. I, I don't get it. Yeah, I'm keeping things under control. I'm trying to keep a nice, even flow, nice, even pace because I don't, I don't want to snap. I actually feel sorry for whoever you are that you had to do that. And if you're just some rando viewer that caught the geo tag and decided to go, oh, I'm offended. Well, Karen, get over yourself. You know, listen, Linda, that's great that you took the time out of your day to do a 411 and find child protective services in my area and call and make a complaint because you didn't like my words. I, I, I don't care. You know, I'm old. I'm a dinosaur by today's standards. There's things that I see that I just go, are you kidding me? Things that are now microaggressions. And, oh my God, you can't say that because it's triggering. Oh, here. Just to make a lot of you mad. Are we Okay. We okay? And that's not a white power symbol, you morons. That's the okay. So like I said, I just I, I wanted to film this to go, whoever you are, thank you. I, I've, I've hit it big time. I never thought in a million years that someone would file a complaint because of me being honest. That's just, Wow. That is just absolutely wow. Oh, man. But anywho, I'm not going to do the usual little youtube -y thing, but I'm just going to go, hey, if you guys want to, leave a comment down below what you think. Yes, it actually happened. When our caseworkers showed up yesterday to drop off some information about some um, programs in our area, she told me about it. And I sat and I walked her through everything I'm doing. You know, she just kind of smiled and went, yeah, see, we didn't even look at any of the videos. I'm just like, my YouTube channel triggered this complaint. I'm, I'm just in shock. I'm in awe, and I have a lot of pity for whoever you are. Please get a grip. Please get a reality check. And if you have an issue with what I'm doing, tell me. I'll respect you for it. Not... Let me sneak around behind your back and I'm going to go, me, 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 <laughs> No, no. But anywho, guys, I'm just going to leave it like that. I didn't want to go on forever because I could. But I just, I wanted to share that with you guys because, baby, easy. 
Well, I died and tried to get a swapper, but I couldn't have it. Okay, well, I get that, but focus and go at it from a different angle, okay? That's my girl. You, you can tell how abused my kids are, right? They're sitting on the couch right now. Here, I'll, I'll even show you. Sitting on the couch playing on their tablets. Do they look like they're in fear of their lives of their daddy? But anywho, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.